everyone. Oh god. <sighs> I'm stressed. If the lighting is different, it's because it's almost 8 p.m. at night and I never film. It's literally 8 p.m. at night. The reason I'm filming this so late is because after the day I had, I had to shower it off my body and then now here I am. Is this better? I'm sorry. Let's just go with this lighting. So yeah, I spent a day on Tinder and it was a day too many. Why did I do this? For content. Um, also, if you're here, then you've probably seen the two videos that came technically part one and two of whatever the hell this is. Part one was Katie doing Azula quotes on Tinder and part two was Tammy's video that came out yesterday with her doing Rin quotes on Tinder. And I wanted to do either Stormlight Archive or Six of Crows and I felt like I wanted to do Nina from Six of Crows but then I realized that there were so many good quotes that just went around and I didn't want to pick one. I just feel like Six of Crows is about the six main characters and I just wanted to use all the quotes. So I decided to just do that because it is my video and you know what they say more is always better according to mean girls on broadway anyway <laughs> it was definitely very interesting if i'm looking down it's because i'm on my laptop okay yeah without any further ado this is me talking to guys on tinder using six of crows quotes so here is the profile i used i wanted to take a screen recording of all the pictures i put in but then i deleted my account because i was triggered so this is what you're getting so i did go with nina because i feel like the only normal person name out of all the six is Nina unless I wanted to be Jesper I don't think that would work for me so I used Nina and my bio was just little red bird because there were so many quotes that I wanted to put as my bio but then I was like no I want to use these in conversation so I just did like the simple little red bird and yeah that was all oh yeah also before I get into all the matches this video was originally done by Cindy over at Read with Cindy and she did the Darkling quotes so you should I mean I'm sure you've probably seen it but I will link it down below because all credit goes to her but yeah let's get into the craziness let's revisit my trauma together so i'm gonna say the people's names but i'm not gonna put their picture on screen i'll just put the messages just for privacy first we have nick i did okay i did make the bad decision of going on tinder at 11 in the morning i don't know what i was doing i don't know tinder okay but like i don't whatever so i started with a classic quote that worked so well for canadians and that is moose is probably your native language so my boy nick plays along and is like actually pork chop is my native language which i mean okay to that i replied with the classic my ghost won't associate with your ghost and then he asked why is that and i said better terrible truths than kind lies and he blocked me me so so pork chop nick is out let's move on um i tried to use only six of crows quotes just because there were so many and i made a list i was just scrolling forever and i didn't want to have that many quotes to scroll through every time someone texted but if i thought of a crooked kingdom quote on the spot because yes i've memorized these books i would use it let's move into danish so danish texted me first and he started with the classic be my little red bird please which uh i will admit i threw up a little in my mouth and then i said we're all someone's monster shruggy emoji and then he said ah ha ha i agree sounds freaky then i said when everyone knows you're a monster you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing he said you can just be yourself then so much more efficient omg and then i said i'm a businessman no more no less and then he's like what business do you have for yourself and i said i love puzzles trickery is my native language and then he said sounds even more freaky which i don't know what's so freaky about puzzles but sure is it me or are you getting turned on too and to that i said stop being dense you're cuter when you're smart Aw, thank you for the compliment it's not natural for someone to be as stupid as he is tall yet here you stand and this is where he stopped replying because literally every time I got sick of someone, I used that message because it's such a classic Nina insult. I love it so much. But yeah, people don't seem to appreciate that on Tinder. I don't know why. Next we have Kyle. Oh my god, poor, poor Kyle. Kyle was so confused. So I texted Kyle with the same classic, Moose is probably a native tongue. I use this on a lot of people just because I couldn't think of any other conversation starters that weren't intense. Like I wanted people to reply to me at least once before they blocked me. So he replied with, huh? And then I said, better terrible truths than kind lies with the shruggy emoji again. He said, I'm so confused. I DK what that means. Then I just wanted to use this quote. So I said, the easiest way to steal a man's wallet is to tell him you're going to steal his watch. You take his attention and direct it where you want to go. Shruggy emoji. You will see how many times I've used the shrug emoji. Then he's like, I'm going to unmatch you now. Have a good one. Laugh emoji. And then... Okay, oh god, I would cringe so hard if I sent this to someone unironically, but I had to use the lines from the most iconic Kanej scene in Six of Crows ever, and that is, I want you to stay. I want you. And then I got back two dots. 
not even three dots like he didn't even give me three dots he gave me two dots but at least i mean like he didn't unmatch me so like i don't know what he was expecting but clearly he wasn't as put off as he pretended to be so that was the end of kyle Ankur, i think that's how you say it Ankur started off strong with a he hi like i don't understand it's like three alphabets why can't you spell it you had the time to put in that emoji at the end but you couldn't put the e in hey i don't get it so i was like we'll be kings and queens oh my god <laughs> just looking at this i can't can you imagine if like someone just sees me in real life and connects the dots i will die and he's like haha that's so sweet and i said it's not natural for women to fight shruggy because i wanted to see what he said and he's like okay so what i have to do it's a game of quotes so he clearly thought that we were throwing quotes at each other and i said better terrible truths than kind lies i really use this quote a lot at the start then he said but it's terribly hard to speak the truth thinky emoji we're all someone's monster i agree but does not matter exactly when everyone knows you're a monster you needn't waste your time doing every monstrous thing hmm leave me alone actually means i need you where where did that so he clearly thinks we're throwing quotes at each other i i can't with people <sighs> Then I really wanted to end this conversation, so I did the classic You wouldn't know a good time if it sidled up to you and stuck a lollipop in your mouth And he replied with a laugh laughing face like I don't I don't understand and he's like if you want to be happy never expect everything from anyone he's just throwing quotes at me now and I just want this conversation and this whole day to be over at this point then I said this is so funny to me okay then I said if you survive make sure I have an open casket the world deserves a few more moments with this face this idiot really thought I was talking about him and he said that's so sweet with the hard face Oh god, I hate it here. It's not natural for someone to be as stupid as he is tall and yet here you stand. I didn't take a screenshot of the next thing but I wish I could say that that was the end. He sent me a lot of emojis and I didn't reply. Okay, I texted a lot of people and they didn't reply and I'm not showing those here just because I have a lot of conversations already. But this one I thought was really funny. So Ali texted me saying, hey, how are you doing? And I said, performing an ancient Zemeni ritual, how about you? He didn't reply, which I thought was a rather sad, sad thing because I felt like we could have a really interesting conversation around what I sent him, but oh well. Lord, okay, I was not ready for this next one. So Gancolo? Gan Solo? I'm not sure how to pronounce the C in his name because it has like the little thing under it. So he texted me and he said, Hey, we met before, remember? So at this point, all the warning bells are ringing in my head. I'm regretting all the steps that led me to this point in my existence. I'm thinking maybe this is like a line, maybe he's trying to do like a because I've seen you in your dreams or some kind of bullshit like that. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll go with it. And I was like, the heart is an arrow. It demands aim to land true. He hearted that and he said, I agree with you, but for real, we met before. I had a mental breakdown at this point. I didn't reply to him for half an hour. I was texting Sophia and Cammy and Katie and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Um, who is this guy? Because like I wasn't using my real name, but I was using my own pictures. So like I didn't know what was going on. But yeah, I decided to soldier on like past me like three hours ago was a lot braver than I am now. And I said, oh Lord, I said, what did you do to me in your dreams? And then he said, I didn't dream about you yet, but hopefully soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Men are so scary. This is why I don't have any kind of Tinder-ish adjacent app. I just wanted to get this conversation over with. So I wanted to creep him out, maybe make him think I was a bot or something like that. But everyone knows you're a monster. You needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. And he didn't reply for a long time. So I was like, oh my god. Okay, great. I can go on with my life. But then right before I'm deleting the app, he texts me, can I have your Insta? Uh what? Okay, goodbye Gancolo. It's been swell. Let's move on to Ray. Ray was, um, Ray blocked me so quick. So he's like, hey, how's it going? And I was like, you know, going in strong with, I've been looking for an excuse to talk to you for the last two days. Yikes. I did change around that quote a little. I did change a few of the quotes to make it more like a conversation instead of just a line. And then he's like, why is that? And I was like, the heart is an arrow. It demands aim to land true. And then he blocked me. So he was not having it. Oh my God. This next one hurt me so much. This next guy was so, so sweet. So much so that Tammy and Sophia didn't trust him. 
but like I just think he was misunderstood I don't know I'll let you decide for yourself I feel so bad this is the only guy I came clean to okay so Lucas so I texted him saying I was looking for an excuse to talk to you for the last two days with the eye emojis he's like haha you don't need an excuse with like the monkey hiding face hello with a smile I was like better terrible truths than kind lies laughing face Heidi monkey face and then he's like haha I agree sorry for my English I'm Brazilian again the monkey face haha <laughs> oh god I regret this so much and then I said oh if I couldn't walk I'd crawl to you literally I hate myself and then he's like haha so cute how are you with like the that emoji I was like I'm setting raisins on fire he's like really here it is very cold with the teeth emoji I need you then haha <laughs> then obviously I had to say I have been made to protect you only in death will I be kept from this oath I hate myself so much I hate it here I hate it here and he's like I like the idea of you being my protector I want he's so precious I would love to be yours monkey face I don't know how you could doubt him he's so sweet oh my god and this was a point where I was like I have to come clean like I feel so bad because I used all like the most romantic quotes with him and I just felt so bad because he was so sweet and I was like hi Lucas I'm so sorry about this because you seem like a genuinely nice person I was doing an experiment on tinder using only lines from a book called six of crows I think you're really sweet but I'm not looking for a relationship right now good luck with all your matches with like the monkey emoji and he's like haha what was the result of your experiment with me and then he corrected the what even though he spelled it right I don't understand and then I was like no result it was just for fun and then he said after breaking my heart you'll go away oh no haha <laughs> I, I I still feel oh my god I feel so bad but um yeah I ghosted him so that was that oh my god Khaled is next and he I think caught on to what I was doing I'm so surprised not even one person knew I was doing this like I didn't think they would I didn't think any of them would have read six of crows but so he says hey which first of all give me something to work with hey so I went in strong with the water hears and understands the ice does not forgive to which he said poetry you might say I'm a lockpick are you here to unlock my heart literally men should just not exist <laughs> what is going on to which I said the heart is an arrow it demands aim to land true I'm aiming at you my ghost won't associate with your ghost to which he just said knock knock which like first of all I had like nothing to say to that and also at this point Tammy and everyone is like stop talking to him he's being creepy I don't know when to learn so I said stop being dense you're cuter when you're smart to which he said stop being a bot you're cuter when you're not to which I said I'm a businessman no more no less and then he said ooga booga I was just so creeped out at this point that I just ended the conversation with think how embarrassing it would be when you got trounced by a girl the line was by a fjerden girl but I just said girl and he didn't reply so I got what I wanted goodbye Khaled Martin I don't remember Martin oh my god Martin was another really sweet guy who didn't know what to do with me he was like hey and I was like you're better than waffles he's like haha thank you emojis how was your day today and then I said I needed to I <laughs> I needed to thank you for my new hat and then he was like haha cute hat to which I said so what's the easiest way to steal a man's wallet and he didn't reply so that was Martin Martin couldn't handle Kaz which I mean understandable but also think of all the memories we could have had Martin but like also he had a dog emoji like the dog filter on his picture so like I don't trust him oh my god Tony Tony was like literally the bane of my existence I hate him so much I think he was trolling me more than I was trolling him so we start with a nice he says cute to which I said I'm a delicate flower to which he says why and then I say what doesn't kill me better run what doesn't kill you you might say I'm a lockpick at this point he's not giving me anything then he says mm-hmm and I'm so glad I got to use this line at least once even if it was wasted on Tony I said I protect my investments to which he said what investments and then I said facts are for the unimaginative to which he said is it and then I said stop being dense you're cuter when you're smart thank you and why so I literally was done at this point there's a difference between confidence and arrogance and which one are you I'm a businessman no more no less literally at this point I was like running out of things to talk about and I was like is this what this video is going to be to which he said man and I said it's not natural for someone to be as stupid as he is tall and yet here you stand and then he didn't reply literally the greatest conversation blocker ever and I'm so happy I know it oh wait no he did reply and he said mm-hmm and and then I just ghosted him because like that was like the most disappointing conversation okay let's move to Lakhan who did like the star thing like the super super like thing so already I was on edge because like mm, I, I don't like that and he's like hey there beautiful I was really hoping we'd match haha how's your day going to which I said there's a difference between confidence and arrogance he's like that's very true what are you trying to say we don't even know each other yet emoji I said my ghost won't associate with your ghost 
Hmm, okay. Does that mean you don't want to talk? I mean, at least he's getting the hint, which is more than we can say about half of his species. So, to which I just said better terrible truths than kind lies, and then he didn't reply. So, bye Lakan. I guess even with a super like, he didn't like me enough to deal with my weirdness. Oh my god. Salamu. Okay, so this is one of my longest conversations because he just would not take the hint. Like, I don't know what he thought we were doing. So he starts off with, Damn girl, are you terms and conditions? Because I want to blindly agree to whatever you say. To which I had like the perfect quote. I'm so proud of myself. It was, True, you don't argue with a girl covered in blood and a knife up her sleeve. I changed the gender for this one because it was describing Kaz. He's like, I won't argue, but it's kind of hot and badass lol. To which I said, We're all someone's monster. I need to meet some monsters after spending three months in coma. Okay. Then I said, the really bad monsters never look like monsters. How do you know that? You seem like an expert. You must be a zombie because you're drop dead gorgeous, lol. I can't with these pickup lines, I really can't. To which I said, when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. At this point, I just wanted the conversation to be over. But like, he was really into it for some reason. He's like, I guess, so what do you do for fun? And I said, I love puzzles. Trickery is my native language. I'm not good at puzzles. Not being native in English doesn't help, lol. But let's try a game or some of your chicks. Some entertain me, laughing emoji. I mean, he asked for it, so I asked, what's the easiest way to steal a man's wallet? A which he said, IDK, give him a hug or seduce him lol. Oh god. Then I replied, the easiest way to steal a man's wallet is to tell him you're going to steal his watch. You take his attention and direct it where you want it to go. <laughs> to which he replied, lol, IDK if that would work for me. To which I said, if I fail, I don't get paid. And then he replied like half an hour later when I was getting ready to delete Tinder and he was like, haha dude, that's your job. I don't know what that means. So I guess I'll never know because I deleted Tinder. Let's move into Nav. Nav got the most iconic Kanaj scene. Again, he got it from start to finish. I was really proud of myself. Let's get into Nav. Oh Lord. So he's like, hey. And I go, I shoot my shot and I'm like, how will you have me Naz? Because Naz is the closest name to Kaz. Nav, not Naz, sorry. Naz, Nav, Nav is the closest to Kaz. So I was like, you know what? Let me just shoot my shot. He seemed all for it. He was like, DBH, I have been finding answer for this online for the last 15 minutes, which I feel like if anyone looked up that quote, it's pretty obvious it's from Six of Crows. But then anyway, I replied, oh God, I hate myself so much. I hate this for me. I hate it. I said, will you have me fully clothed, gloves on, your head turned away so our lips can never touch? Crying emoji. <laughs> he said, lol, never. Oh God, I hate, I hate men. I hate men. To which I said, the iconic, I will have you without armor, or I will not have you at all. Which basically has a really naughty subtext. Kind of just sounds like I want to get pregnant. He seemed to agree wholeheartedly. He said, exactly, exclamation point. You look really beautiful in your first picture, by the way. I'm a delicate flower. He had to go and ask the, what's your background, Nina? Just curious. And I replied with, I'm a wicked Grisha seductress. I have beguiled you with my Grisha ways. So I was just really curious to see what he would say to that. He's liked both I'm a delicate flower and Grisha seductress. And he's like, ha ha, come on, don't hit me with this much English. I'm a little weak in it. To which I said, if I fail, I don't get paid. Then he said, I won't let you fail. Don't worry, twice. And I just didn't reply to that because I was really done with Nav and men and Tinder and life. Then we have Rag, Rag. He's like, hey Nina, how are you? And I said, I want to feel safe again. I want to go home to Ravka. Cause I was really curious to see if he would like look up where's Ravka and find out that I was using Grisha quotes. Like at this point, I just wanted to get caught. He's like, what made you feel unsafe? And I said, the whole city is looking for me, mad at me or wants to kill me. And he said, I think a big hug would solve the problem. This is why I don't trust humanity. After everything that I, oh my God, I just hate it. I hate it here. He's like, what do you think? To which I said, how about I push you into a canal and we'll see if you know how to swim. Ah, oh, Wylan, I love him so much. He said, that works too, but I'll drag you with me. And then I said, my ghost won't associate with your ghost. And I think that was it. Let me check though, I think he replied. Actually, I deleted the screenshot. So if he replied, we'll never know. Oh my God, we're at the last one. So exciting for me, cause I can leave now. We have Arj, who replies with sub trouble. To which I asked, how many times have you been told you're a monster? He said, Depends on the reason, really. To which I said, we're all someone's monster, Shaggy. He said, in that case, a few too many times. So what's your story? You in the I'm going crazy at home and haven't fucked in three months boat too? Which like, I cannot, I can't, I can't, I just, I'm tired. To which I said, meeting you was a disaster. To which he replied saying, such attitude, crying, laughing. To which I said, better terrible truths than kind lies. 
and he didn't reply so folks that was that that was all i did today which is kind of troubling because i had work to do but tinder took over my life and i never want to hear myself say that sentence ever again so yeah i'm really excited to delete these folders and delete this part of my life from my memory and put it up on the internet because that seems therapeutic but yeah that is this video i hope you enjoyed it like i said before i will link tammy and katie's videos down below as well as cindy's and um leave a comment below which guy you thought was the funniest and if you enjoyed the like button the i've literally forgotten my own outro because tinder has messed with my brain if you like the video the like button as well as the subscribe button are down below but yeah that is all i have for this video the lighting will go back to normal i promise and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye